Welcome to Cypress Creek Adventures. Hey there, welcome for this week's episode. This week we're going to go out in the garden and you know, have a few tips on harvesting and show what we've what I've been able to grow this year so far and talk about uh, some other different things that I've tried out and some difficulties that I've had and some defeats. So stay tuned and we'll go out here to the garden in a while and, and check it out. So I'm out here in the garden. This is my row of string beans. This is the first pick. And so I did okay. They're heavy with blooms right now. I've cut the Swiss chard like three times and we've got that in the freezer. Blanched and free in the freezer. I had a hard time with kale. Had cabbage butterflies. Uh, decimated most of that. We've got two or three plants going there. So there are onions. I've been eating onions with my squash. You'll see some squash. Potatoes are just about ready to dig. And I, I just dug up a couple of the of the garlic. They're ready to, to be dug. And here's the two that I got so far. And they they uh, got some nice size this time. So we'll move on down here. Peas were the same way. We got just enough for a handful. We had groundhog came in here and and worked over my broccoli. And uh, we were doing pretty well with squash. A lot of volunteer plants didn't come back this time like you usually do. So I, I bought a few plants. All the zinnias were that came up there, they were from previous years. And so we got squash to pick today. And I've been eating squash for a couple weeks. Oh, I've got a big one in there. Don't like them to get too big. I like them smaller. And so our tomatoes are coming along pretty well. And as you can see, we got tomatoes in here. Uh, coming along nice. I don't like to do the pruning and all that stuff. I like them just to be on their own. Most disappointing thing has been my been my broccoli though. I got the big crowns and then the cabbage butterflies and and the groundhog between the two. They they really worked over my broccoli. So we get ready to dig this rest of this garlic. Alright so when I go along here on this garlic and usually all I do is put the shovel down real a little bit four or five inches away loosen the ground you can see it move and then just pull it up so that's a nice one there too I don't need a lot of garlic for myself. And we'll take the best out of these and plant these back this fall. There's a couple of really big heads there. So we'll let these dry up here on the porch. And then uh, when they dry, we'll put them away out of the sun. Keep them as long as we can. But about halfway through the winter, I'll be using these up. So now my potatoes, when, they, when you start seeing them this time of year and the, and the leaves start to show a little yellow, uh, they've pretty much done their done all the growing but for me they, they keep better out here in the garden than me digging them and putting them somewhere and trying to keep them from spoiling so we'll have potatoes tonight so we'll dig up one right one hill here let's see what we got there we go we've got some nice ones here a couple little little pea size. So we'll check the hole. Make sure we didn't miss any. Check this. There's some other couple more little teeny ones. I like to steam them when they're new like this and uh, and put gar the fresh garlic and, uh, and butter on them. So 
So there we go. We got just got a few there off of that hill, but that's enough for me. All right, so we're gonna look at onions now. Got a yellow ones on the back row and red ones on the front. And what I've learned and and read, the more the more leaves we have out of here, the more uh, layers there is on the onion. So we'll pull this one up, and this one should have a lot of layers. This doesn't have a very big ball, but but it has a lot of layers. So we'll pull one more over here. We'll pull a yellow one. We'll go over here and see our squash, and we'll have, have these to go with our squash this evening. So that one doesn't have, have a real big ball, but I'll use all this up in here, uh, all, uh, probably all the way up to there. And it's very good. All right, so in previous videos, we've been watching this big mullion that I have. And mullions are an invasive uh, plant. They're not native to the United States, but they're, they've had a lot of uses and, and they're originally from Europe, I think. And the one in the background is actually a normal size, and this one here in the garden has uh, had some chicken manure and, and you know, it just gets regular water from the uh, garden. So, so now I'm gonna walk down through here and uh, we're going to look look at the broccoli and after I cut the initial crown I don't pull my broccoli out then I get these secondary uh, crowns here some of them are a little bit rough and here's where our uh, groundhog has been in here and uh, it just uh, pretty much decimated these plants and we got rid of Mr. Groundhog actually we had two groundhogs we got rid of both of them and I was afraid they were getting on to my tomatoes so I'm going to go down this road now and and see what I can salvage and uh, are, are these little broccoli heads. Alright, in the previous video we talked about squash. And so the experiment this year was to, to grow the squash here with at the end of the tomato row and tie it up. And as you can see, it's, it's very good. It's, like, it's off the ground and I really like that. And so we'll walk down here and we'll look at plants that haven't had anything done to them these are my, my yellow squash plants and as you can see they, they the stem tends to lay over a little bit because of the weight but uh, I really like how that the, how that other one is uh, tied up is, is growing more straight so we're gonna cut our squash here and and then we'll have a close out all right so pick some of the squash and I wanted to just show that down in here, I don't like to twist the, the squash off. I always use a knife. And I go in here and just cut this off because you take a chance, especially when it's hot, that the, the, the squash will be, cut that right off. Some people just twist them off. I found that if you twist them off in the heat, that uh, sometimes the it damaged the plant because the plant's already stressed from the heat. And we got a, a kind of a double there. That's a pretty nice one. These are a little bit bigger than what I usually like. I like these I like these little ones like this that still have blossom attached. So we got a few more in here. Alright, so today here's our garlic. We'll let this dry. I don't uh, wash it or anything. But I'll put it over in the shade and so here's today's take, and we got some these bigger squash. At least once a week, I put uh, vegetables up in the freezer, and I slice these and plant plant these. And I usually put a couple pieces of onion or garlic in there with it and freeze it. So when I take it out, I already have what I need. And this is what we got for broccoli off that whole row. But these are all little little teeny florets. They're very good. I'll steam these up. And there's our one hill potatoes. I do have a pepper plant out there and it did have uh, some little peppers on it. These are Anaheim's, but the plant is so small that I, I picked the peppers sooner. And here's our beans that we got for today. So hopefully next week we'll have more. They're, they're set pretty good. So our spinach, the heat got to it finally, but we did put two messes in the freezer of, of spinach. So I'm very happy with the way the garden's coming. And we get uh, get through this couple hot uh, months, and then we'll go back and and plant uh, some fall vegetables. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Let's just show some bounty of the garden and 
some digging tips and different things in the progress that's been going along with my garden and I really enjoy gardening and uh, I just spend a lot of time and almost every morning I come out here and if you enjoyed this uh, video please subscribe to my channel and, and like and share I thank you for watching and God bless